What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are finally diving into it, man. We are finally arrived at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Very exciting times. Tons of stuff to go through, man. Tons of stuff to go through. Now, I did not expect this. Tonight is just preview night. Like, I'm going to be uploading this pretty late. I know it's going to be late. I know that it's going to be later in the night, so hopefully you guys check it out. Lots of content coming in the next few days because of Comic-Con, because of all the stuff we're getting, because we're going to have reveals, like more reveals tomorrow. This was just preview night. This was the biggest preview night that I can remember in short memory. I cannot remember a preview night where we got this much stuff right off the cuff, man. I mean, we even have AEW figures. We have WWE Mattel. We have everything here that is just insane. We have a ton of stuff to get through. I'm going to dive into it. We got a lot of stuff that I love. We got some stuff that I didn't like i'm gonna break it all down for you man we're gonna get into preview night i got a little layout for us we're gonna dive into the hot stuff and just work our way down until we complete it all and hopefully you guys come back for tomorrow to check out the rest of the stuff and if you guys are watching this on thursday morning well get ready because later today we have more reveals but san diego comic con is here man let's dive into preview night and see what the hell we're gonna be getting for 2022 on into 2023. So let's start things off with Ultimate Edition figures. You guys know that Ultimate Editions are some of the most sought after WWE and wrestling action figures out there. Let's start off with the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar figure. Now we knew that we were going to be getting Brock Lesnar. You know we've kind of speculated that for months and months on the channel. We kind of knew about that wave coming forward. We knew who the other guy was in the thing. But let's dive into this Brock Lesnar. Very excited for it. You guys will notice that we do have updated head sculpts right. I think it's going to be coming with the smiling head sculpt, the screaming expression, and then kind of the determined pissed off expression it's very very similar to his last ultimate edition that we saw in what series 4 that just got re-released in the same wave as Shawn Michaels very similar I mean not a lot of different stuff going on with this you do get the Blue Universal Championship and the WWE Championship but I think it's really badass that he comes with the side plates on the championship I think that that should be something that they implement moving forward can you imagine having like a cash in Seth Rollins ultimate edition with the WWE Championship with those SR side plates money in the bank contract interchangeable head sculpts oh god dude just redo that figure with new formula how beautiful would an ultimate edition seth rollins be like that that's just the first thing i thought of when i saw this but figure looks really good it's not like a ton you don't even get a cloth shirt or nothing like that but i still like the figure i still like the figure not a ton different going on with it i thought it would be either the shorts or it would be in the jeans which we will get into later in this video but brock lesnar's looking pretty good i saw where somebody said he never held the blue universal championship and i couldn't remember off the top of my head if that were true or not between all his battles with roman Reigns. I could have swore he did win it, but I can't remember if he had actual side plates on it and all that different stuff. But let's dive into the other Ultimate Edition in this wave. It's going to be Ultimate Warrior from WrestleMania 7. Now, the only thing that I really have a problem with with this Warrior is that we have seen WrestleMania 7 before with him. I know it's going to be updated formulas. You do have some brand new head sculpts here. I love the entrance cloth dust. What's it called? I can't remember. Is it a duster? Is that what it's called? He's got the long vest on there. The figure looks really cool. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks really badass. The colors are very very bright and colorful and it is going to be a lot better than the defining moments warrior from way back in the day but i must say you know I'd, i would have liked to seen a warrior that we have not seen before as far as figures are concerned but i do like the head sculpts going on the wide eyed ones a bit it looks a bit off a little but it's not too too bad there but we do have ultimate warrior and brock lesnar in our first ultimate edition wave here coming after Jeff Hardy and Roman Reigns. Next up will be Brock and Ultimate Warrior. But that is not all for Ultimate Editions. We also got to look at upcoming future ones, including this Bret Hart Ultimate Edition in full pink with the jacket. And this figure looks insane, man. The color pops off really nice. You guys know that we just recently kind of figured out an Elite 94 fix-up for Bret Hart where he could be in the full pink. This head sculpt looks to be a bit new. It may not be. It may just be the sunglasses. But he's got his jacket on there. It is the full pink gear. And it looks really damn good. It really, really does. I know that the jacket is going to be the articulated arm. Say what you will about that. I hate that we're getting another Bret Hart, another Ultimate Warrior, another Brock Lesnar before we got some of these other characters. Maybe tomorrow we'll find out about new characters that we're going to be getting in the Ultimate Edition line. But I like the look of this Bret Hart. I like this Bret Hart a hell of a lot more than the first go-around. So that will be really encouraging. And you don't have to do that fix-up to get your full pink Bret. This should be really fire once we get it in hand. I actually like this figure a lot. So what's not to love about full pink, man? That right there, that's MDT right there. But outside of Bret Hart, we also have these new figures. And this is actually pretty insane. This right here is kind of insane because... I was actually, uh, I, I was informed of these figures beforehand, or not the figures, but the Terry Funk figure. I knew about the Terry Funk because I saw an early prototype 
of or sample, prototype or sample of this Terry Funk figure from the factory, from Mattel. And me, Kyle Peterson, and Matt Cardona all discussed this prototype of this Terry Funk figure. And we were all discussing it, and I just took to Twitter, and I said, Bro, y'all are not going to believe what we're getting this year from WWE Mattel at San Diego Comic-Con. Oh my god, man, this is insane. P.S. Ultimate Edition 2-packs have to be a thing because there's no way this guy has his own singles ultimate. So, I thought when I saw this Terry Funk, I was like, there's no way that this guy is getting released on his own. And I just used context clues to think, okay, maybe it's in a 2-pack. I didn't know who the 2-pack was with. I thought it might be, you know, uh, a Mick Foley or, or something of that nature. Well, going off of Kyle Peterson and talking to Matt Cardona, we were all feeding off each other. And they wanted to know if I had heard something because I put that out. And, you know, I said that 2-packs must be a thing. And I hadn't heard anything. I was genuinely just trying to use context clues because I didn't think that Terry Funk could sell on his own. Well... Here they are, and he is actually in a two-pack. He, he actually is in a two-pack with Hulk Hogan in this Coliseum Collector's Pack. And I didn't even know that until after. I had already done my, my screen record and recording of this video and voice recording over this to discuss this stuff. And I had no idea that this was actually a two-pack. I got on here and talked about it like it was two separate individual figures in a Series 1 of Coliseum Collectors. And then Matt sends me an image of the two figures that come in a set together. And he said, good call. And I was correct on the whole thing. So I didn't even know that until... Uh, 30, 45 minutes after I had already done the, the voice recording. But I think that's hilarious. I think the figures look amazing. I just thought that backstory was kind of funny. So I figured I'd get on here and let you guys know about it. But the Terry Funk and the Hulk Hogan 2-pack is pretty cool. Awesome Ultimate Edition collection there. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. But it is still pretty cool to see. Now this one right here was pretty badass. We have this WCW Monday Night Nitro entrance stage. And you guys will notice it's like a real authentic scale stage. Similar to what we saw with the Attitude Era back at WrestleMania 38 with the Raw is War stage. Look at this Goldberg Ultimate Edition on the stage. Now we don't have full, you know, close-up images of it. I imagine tomorrow or in a few hours whenever you're watching this video, we are going to have up-close images of the guy. But at the same time, I think the Goldberg looks insane here. He's got his championship on. He's got his open elbow pads. He's got the smoke breathing out of the face there that we saw not too long ago. This stage is sick as hell with the lights and the reflectors and the beams and smoke. I mean, this is just the most insane thing ever. If they did this for a crowdfunder, I think it would back, no doubt. I don't think this is the next crowdfunder. I think they just have a really badass design team that was able to put this together, put the Raw as War stage together. I'm waiting on the SmackDown Fist stage because I'm going to have to break into Mattel headquarters and steal the diorama from up under their nose. But that is the Goldberg Ultimate. I know we can't see a very, very clear image of it, but that is there. I wanted to get through all the Ultimates and I noticed the Goldberg there, so I did want to dive into that. But we have a shish ton of Elite figures to get through, man. So with that being said, let's dive into probably my biggest pop of the night. And it's going to be Ruthless Aggression Elite Series number 3 Walmart exclusive. You guys know we have my man John Cena here in his 2008 like early to mid 2008 I believe it was summer 2008 when he rocked this which is pretty much the end of the ruthless aggression era so they they were teetering pretty close if it was right on the cusp of the end of the ruthless aggression era so they you know they hit a freaking Hail Mary at the buzzer I guess for this but he's got his C Nation jersey on there it is the ultimate edition head skull so the smiley face and the yelling face but you guys will notice he does have his like really army green and black C Nation armbands from his, you know, his gamer attire that everybody loves, his classic games attire. He's got his jorts. It doesn't look like he's going to come with his hat, which is super disappointing. I don't know why they couldn't include that. I do have a custom hat of that, but that really blows my mind that they didn't do that. I have to get this set men on card. Uh, I just, this, these Ruthless Aggression figures are insane, man. I love the way John Cena looks. Any John Cena is going to, you know, uh, get a huge pop for me. He also comes with a modern WWE mic, so I don't, I don't know what the hell we're doing there. I think it would have been cool to include a world tag title or... Or, or something like that. They did not go that route. And he doesn't have his hat, it seems. So that's that's pretty bummy. But the next figure in this set, bro. They are giving us a 2004-2005 era Shelton Benjamin in the blue, black, white, and silver. This is a figure that I have been wanting and salivating for for years. I, this is one of the first customs that I ever made in WWE figure form or elite figure form way back in the day when I started collecting and this is one of those figures that I, I had to make and now we are finally getting it in double jointed arm goodness 
Beautiful torso, beautiful Shelton Benjamin. I'm so glad that we're getting another Elite Shelton Benjamin. This will be our third Shelton Benjamin Elite. It's from a beautiful era. He comes with a ladder. This is sick as hell. Probably my favorite reveal of the night, if not top three. It's up there, man. It is definitely up there. This it may this made me literally yell out loud when I saw this. So I am absolutely gonna use this figure. I am so hyped for this. This is I I popped so hard. Shelton Benjamin was one of my was one of my favorites growing up, and this is just beautiful. It embodies it perfectly. I love the Shelton Benjamin. And it goes great with the John Cena in the same way. I was popping hard, but we also have a look at Kevin Nash and his NWO gear, which is really cool. I like this Kevin Nash a lot. I think it's awesome because of the two sweet hand. You got the nice head sculpt NWO shirt. This is a badass Kevin Nash. I like this a lot. Getting another Kevin Nash in here with updated stuff. He's got his tattoos. Really sweet, man. This Ruthless Aggression era wave is so badass and I cannot wait to see I bet tomorrow or in a few hours like I said I guarantee we're going to see series four series five I think didn't they say they're gonna go like six or seven series so maybe we'll get to see some render images of some upcoming guys in the wave I cannot wait man it's gonna be some of those figures that I've been asking for for years coming to fruition as we're seeing already in the first three waves this is epic I love the ruthless aggression wave this is beautiful they knocked series three out of the park and I am super hyped now speaking of ruthless aggression Man, we're moving on into another series of elites. We have a few pay-per-view exclusives right here. Not pay-per-view exclusives, but, you know, elites that revolve around pay-per-views. Getting into the Royal Rumble elites. Now, I will be honest with you. I'll give you my discrepancies and my pissed offness. Not really pissed off. I'm not really pissed off. It's just kind of my, my grievances. Air out the grievances here with this wave. But we have the Royal Rumble elite line for 2022 or 2023, I guess, right? We have Brie Bella in the line. Do not think this was necessary, bro. I really do not think this figure is going to move that much. I do like the parts. I think that this is great parts for future. And maybe the figure will be badass because you got to think about it. These figures are highly improved. I think a lot of our annoyance with women's figures in the past is that it's not necessarily the talent. It's just how bad the figures have been. But the figures have really, really improved for the women's figures. And so I actually am excited for it. I'm just not a big Brie Bella fan, I guess. But I'm actually excited for future women's figures because they can move her around a whole lot better. They feel a lot better in the hand. And I actually enjoy posing them around now. So maybe that has something to do with it. But I do not see this Brie Bella doing very well. The Elite 68 did rot on shelves when it was out there, but Brie Bella's in the wave. We also have a look at Vader. Very similar to the Legends figure. I don't know if it's identical. I think the boots are different here. It may be a tad different here and there, but we do have Vader again if you guys missed out on some Vader figure. Here is another Elite Vader for the Royal Rumble wave. This figure right here is sick as hell, man. Look at the details on this Damian Priest Royal Rumble Elite right here in the white and silver. This is so badass, and I don't even like Damian Priest. This figure figure looks insane with the white gear. I, I love this. The entrance vest is sick. Now, you guys know with these pay-per-view exclusive waves or these pay-per-view waves, they're usually repaints, right? They take an existing Elite and they change the deco and they change the colors. That's usually the way they go. I know we do have updated head sculpts and true effects now and double jointed arms, which allows for more updates sometimes. But for the most part, they're going to take an existing figure and just change it slightly and throw it out there as like kind of a repaint figure for these, you know, these pay-per-view waves. But this Damian Priest is insane. The white and silver is so clean. I hope I can, you know, find multiples because I just want to make other gears for other people because this is this is sick as hell. Absolute unit right there. And finishing up our Royal Rumble wave, speaking of Ruthless Aggression, is Rey Mysterio. I do believe this is 2006 Royal Rumble right here where he won the Royal Rumble, if I'm not mistaken. So this looks insane. I do not like the head sculpt, but how many god dang Rey Mysterio elites are we going to get, bro? So many this year. We have so many Rey Mysterios announced and coming soon that it's making my head spin with all the different Rey Mysterios. That man absolutely leads Mattel in elite figures. I know John Cena's up there. I think Rey Mysterio takes the cake. He's very toyetic though, so it makes complete sense. But the build a figure for this set is going to be Doc Hendricks. And Doc Hendricks is actually Michael Hayes from back in the day as an interviewer. So that's pretty cool right there. You know, former commentator, former interviewer, Doc Hendricks there. Very unique. I love the pink suit. I think it's awesome. I think that uh, the head sculpt could be better, but you do get the classic rumble mic. Love the pink suit. You guys know that MDT is gonna be rocking that suit. Now I got my I got my build a figure Jimmy Hart suit jacket, and now I got my Doc Hendricks pink suit jacket. So I'm all over the place there, but that's pretty badass. Not the best wave ever, I'd say. You know, it's not the greatest wave ever, but it's got some gems in there, which will be fun to collect. Now diving into our next pay per view elite set, and it is another build a figure set. We're moving on to the Survivor Series set. Now this wave is pretty good as well. We have the Ultimate Warrior here, and I think this is an outstanding Ultimate Warrior, man. This is a really beautiful Ultimate Warrior. Now I'm not the biggest 
biggest Ultimate Warrior guy. I am not a huge Ultimate Warrior guy. You know, I've, I'm honestly not even really a fan of him, but I love this gear. I think the white looks sick. I love the silver. I love the armbands. The head sculpt's really badass. This is going to look great on a shelf. All the Ultimate Warriors up next to each other and all their gear is going to look insane. This Ultimate Warrior came to play, man. So this is the second Ultimate Warrior we've got today, and it would not be the last, man. I'll get into that, but this is a great looking warrior. Very, very great looking warrior. And any warrior fan is going to be hyped to get this one. The next figure in the set is going to be, I want to say this is our Scarlet Witch or WandaVision Becky Lynch figure. And I like this figure a lot. Now, I do not like the head sculpt. I, I, I guess it's because we've seen this head sculpt so many damn times now that I'm kind of over it. But I do like the red gear. I think the figure will be very poseable. Hopefully, it will be poseable. But I like this figure. I thought this figure was going to be coming in Elite Series 96. That was not the case, as we've discussed multiple times in news videos on the channel. But this Becky Lynch looks pretty cool. I like it. You know, it's, uh, it is what it is. I think it's a pretty cool Becky. And it's a lot different than our other Beckys. You know, it's usually dark colors, and it's it's not nothing over the top. This one's over the top, which if we get a really cool Becky basic in the future, maybe we can switch the head or do something with it and change it up a bit. But this is still a really cool Becky Elite, and I think it is, uh, it's is—it's a good change of pace from her other figures. Now, this is where I got pretty pissed off right here, Brad. Are you kidding me? Another black attire AJ Styles Elite. On top of that, it's not like black and purple or black and blue even. I know we've had multiple black and blues, but another black and red AJ Styles Elite with red gloves in this same damn head sculpt that we've seen forever now. A rubber, claspy, shitty vest jacket deal. It's not a jacket. You guys know what I mean. Another one, bro. This is the Elite 77 AJ Styles with double jointed arms. This is the third AJ Styles in a row, practically, that we have gotten with black and red gear. We had the Elite 77, and then we had the Boneyard match, which was in jeans, by the way, but it was still black and red gear. Technically, it had, it had the same style vest shirt in rubber. It had black and red gloves, and it was black and red gear. It was black and red gear again, and now we're getting it again. What the hell is this? This is probably my least favorite reveal of the day. Absolutely. I think that the kick pads can be used for other gears, but I am so sick of seeing this AJ Styles head sculpt in this same AJ Styles formula in this same AJ Styles black and red gear. Give this man one of his good gears. Give him the Elimination Chamber 2018 gear. Give him an Ultimate Edition. Maybe we'll see one tomorrow. I hope we do. But this is one of those figures that I just wanted to throw up. Is it a solid standalone figure, all things considered? Yes. It's just annoying, you know what I mean? I, I really would like to see one. We did get another AJ Styles, which we'll get into. It's just one of those things. But next up was something I did not expect. Elite Series 8 Drew McIntyre re-released here in the Survivor Series Elite line. Not big on the head sculpt. It is practically the Elite 8 with, like, eyeliner on for some reason. But he's got the, the duster, the vest duster, which I think is awesome. It's in cloth. He's got the white gear on. This is a straight-up improved version of the Elite 8 Drew McIntyre from way back in the day. A figure that a lot of people probably have never had their hands on. On and now they can. It's got the nice boots on there, double jointed arms. Very cool figure. I love the blue duster. I think you could put that on a lot of different guys. This is going to be a really cool figure. I think this is a, an applaud to Mattel here for including this in the Survivor Series wave. Really creative pick here. I like this pick for Drew McIntyre. You know, change it up. Get Drew McIntyre on the line, but don't make it the same as it's been with the top talents of the Elite 89. You changed it up. You went for the flashback. I think that was genius, and this is a good fit here. Speaking of which, the builder figure in this set is going to be Rick Rude in suit with briefcase. Now, this this fills some holes in the collection. You can put him in the DX. You can put him in the WCW, you know, NWO shelf. Multiple looks here for Rick Rude, and he actually includes an interchangeable head sculpt that I saw at a different angle. I love both head sculpts. I think it's great. You get your beard look and your handlebar mustache. Or not handlebar mustache, but mustache look, which is super genius. What a great two-in-one figure right there for different display options. Really great there for Rick Rude. I know a lot of people have had this on their list for a very long time, so I know a lot of people are very excited for this Rick Rude figure, which was a great pick. Very uh, applauds to Mattel there again for that inclusion of Rick Rude here as the build a figure for the Survivor Series set. Now, as we move on forward, guys, we're getting into Legends 17. This is a wave I did not expect whatsoever. You guys know that we just recently got Legends 15. We have Legends 16 coming with the Acolytes and Molly Holly coming very soon. And then this wave is going to be Legends 17, starting things off with AJ Styles. Now, this is a very outside-the-box figure. Didn't even think about this or even, you know, this wasn't even on my radar. I was not thinking that this is even possible to get a flashback AJ Styles from Nitro right here. I know that plenty of people are going to be making TNA-style customs of AJ. This is a great head sculpt, man. The short hair AJ Styles. It looks like it may be a bit big on the body, 
I don't know. They're probably going to give him the Daniel Bryan torso, unfortunately. But uh, it would have been really cool if they gave him the ripped up torso. I don't think they're going to, you know. But anything's possible at this juncture. It does look like it's going to be a, you know, a Daniel Bryan torso. But this is awesome. This is so cool of Mattel to be able to include this. I know a lot of people are going to want their hands on this figure to make customs and fix-ups and stuff. I love the inclusion of AJ Styles here in the Legends line. That's just it kind of mind-boggling in itself to see him in the Legends line. But I think it fits. It's so cool to see. And I, I like that a lot. That was awesome. Speaking of which, we have another hbk here and this is another one i did not expect i did not expect to see this but we have kind of a repaint of the ringside exclusive from back in the day with double jointed arms it, it's got the same similar vest there it is the zebra stripes and white and black gear very sweet i wish they would change the kick pads you know i really wish they changed the kick pads but it is a very nice Shawn michaels this is sweet dude what I, i'm so glad to see Shawn michaels in the legends line again this is awesome great two figures there in the set I like this Shawn Michaels a lot, especially for those that missed out on that ringside exclusive so long ago. Next up in the set is the Chase variant, which is going to be Ken Shamrock, another figure you probably wouldn't expect there, but it is a repaint of the Elite 52 from way back in the day. You get your green Shamrock, you get your blue Shamrock, your oval IC title. Fits perfectly in with your red Shamrock there, so that will be awesome as well. It doesn't look like he's going to come with his robe or anything like that or his, you know, his gi, but this is still sick as hell. So it's sort of a similar figure, but really cool. I like that you get your two different options there, and now we have three different Shamrocks in our Elite collections, which is kind of insane, but to wrap up this Legends wave, we have Dingo Warrior with an interchangeable Ultimate Warrior head sculpt, which is just insane, man. Just another Warrior figure. Like, I, I can't believe it. So that is our third Ultimate Warrior that we got on this day, and it it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Ultimate Warrior does move units, though. You know, he's very sought after, things of that nature, which totally makes sense. He's like Hulk Hogan, man. You're not going to get away from it. He's going to be pumped out just like Macho Man, just like Hulk Hogan. It is the, you know, it's the way of the world right now. So Dingo Warrior coming into the Legends line is really sick. I, I like the boots a lot with the silver. I know a lot of people that are going to want their hands on this one. Now getting into our main Elite Series which is going to be going in. You guys know that our last or most recent Elite Series is Elite Series 94, and we know about Elite 95. We've seen images of Elite 95 and so on and so forth. Well, now we're getting into Elite Series 96, and Elite Series 96 is pretty badass, man. It's pretty badass. Wave starting out first. We do have Ilya Dragunov here. Very good formula. I like the head sculpt. UK Championship. You have the robe. This is pretty much perfect to what people were wanting for their Dragunov figures. People were wanting the ripped torso. They got the ripped torso so they got their UK title. I mean, this is what you want. This is beautiful. Really good job right here. Can't wait to see what it looks like underneath. But at the same time, I, I can tell from here that this is going to be a pretty strong contender. We also have a look at a new Hulk Hogan. Same exact Hogan that we thought it would be. You got your yellow trunks. This is going to sell. You know, even if you take off all the accessories, it is a very unique Hulk Hogan. But you take off some accessories and you have kind of just your standard Hulk Hogan for fix-ups and customs and things like that, which is probably the plan because there's so many looks and such a long history of Hulk Hogan. I can see a lot of people buying multiples of these. It's a it's a nice figure. I like this. I like the skin tone. I like the accessories. Again, very unique style here for Hulk Hogan. I like this one a lot. This is where I was a bit confused, first of all, and a little bit disappointed. We have the Brock Lesnar here for Elite Series 96. Now, you guys will notice that the arms look to be a bit different than his other figures. And also, this is the Smiley Brock. Now, when we last saw the Smiley Brock, was he not in jeans at WrestleMania, right? At WrestleMania Axis, he was in jeans. He had this same head sculpt, but he was in jeans, and he didn't have gloves on. I thought we were going to be getting a flannel with a black shirt and a cowboy hat and a championship with an Elite in jeans for Brock. Maybe we'll see that tomorrow at some point. Maybe he's coming in Elite 100 as Cowboy Brock. I don't know. That totally trips me out, though, that I could have swore to God this was supposed to be a jeans Brock, and then you were going to have your ultimate. So, I, you know, we thought we were getting that in Elite Series 96 in jeans. And then the Ultimate Edition would be the one in trunks. But this one's in trunks. And the Ultimate Edition's in trunks. And they're virtually the exact same figure. So that's kind of where I'm all over the place there. But the Brock Lesnar still looks great. You know, I still like it a lot. It's just... Uh, I thought we were getting Jeans Cowboy Brock for Elite Series 96, so that's kind of threw me for a loop there, but we also have a look at King Nakamura, dude. Look at this Nakamura figure right here with this white entrance jacket coat and his white pants, white wrist tape. King Nakamura is looking fire. Now, I know his head skull is pretty much the same, but any white attire, man, I'm, I'm going to be there all day for it. Maybe you can put this shirt on another guy. This is the best Shinsuke Nakamura that we've seen, I think. I, I think I can, I can say that. I think I could say that. I don't think it's ridiculous 
ridiculous to say. I like this Nakamura. I think it's fire. In the all-white gear, you guys know you can sign me up all day for that one. So that, that's really beautiful right there. Another figure that kind of stole this wave is going to be the Skeletor Kofi Kingston. Now, I will say it's missing a ton of details. I like the entrance coat. I do believe this was Skeletor, if I'm not mistaken. But you got a new Kofi Kingston head. He's got a really straight face. He's not smiling, which is probably the first Kofi ever. Or it's the first Kofi in a really long time that does not have a smiling head sculpt. But I love the Skeletor gear. I think it looks really nice with the colors. You have, like, this is the night that he didn't wear kick pads. He wore Jordans to the ring. And he wore, uh, I'm pretty sure he wore, like, Nike Vapor Jet gloves. So I'm going to have to either customize the, the gloves and the Jordans to make it accurate. But they have him wearing the damn, they have him wearing the John Cena feet, which are god-awful. Gonna have to interchange those. I don't know if I'll do it with Ultimate Edition John Cena feet or what I'll do right there. But we'll definitely have to change it because it just doesn't look accurate to me. We're going to fix him up nice. But this is a really cool Kofi Kingston. I like this a lot. I, I think I remember tweeting to Bill or something like that when he walked out in this gear. And I said, we want that in elite figure form. So here it is. Got to, you know, give it up to him there. The Kofi looks really good. And then the last figure in this set is going to be Dewdrop, who is the chase variant in the set. You have the blue version and the metallic green with a cloth jacket. Now, I think this looks like Dewdrop. I think this is a pretty solid figure right here. It looks like it's going to be really articulated. She's got her short boots on. I like the jacket a lot. You can use that jacket on a multitude of figures. And I like both attires. You know, they're kind of plain Jane. She doesn't have a ton of stuff going on with her gear, but I think that these figures are going to move around pretty good there. So, you know, the, the women's figures are improving daily, so that's pretty nice there. But that wraps up Elite Series 96 as we dive into Elite Series Series 97, which we also called here on the channel, and we were correct again on. So, seems our resources for our news and leaks and things of that nature seem to be pretty accurate. But here we go. Elite Series 97, we do have... We didn't see every figure in the wave. We were missing Chainsaw Charlie for whatever reason. Maybe he got... I don't know if he got cut or what the deal is. Maybe we'll find that out tomorrow. But we do have Alexa Bliss here with her face paint, and she comes with her doll. We have Lily here in the Elite line. Very cool looking Alexa Bliss. I think if you swap some heads around with maybe the Ultimate Edition, you can make some really cool gear. But I like the silver and blue. I, I love it. I think this is a really good Alexa Bliss. Her Elite 82 figure was good, but with the addition of the double jointed arms and the interchangeability of the Ultimate Edition, I think you can pair all those figures together, mix and match in formulas. Gonna be badass. Gonna absolutely be badass, especially since they're on target clearance right now. Grab them now so you'll have these fix-ups in the future. But we also have a look at Omos, which is just a brilliant figure, man. Look Look at this figure. Look at that torso. Look at the jeans. I love this figure. I can already tell, or at least it looks like to me, it's going to be really articulated, which is awesome. This Omos figure looks great. He's got his Raw Tag Team Championship. Now, I guess, is the AJ Styles that's in the Survivor Series Elite supposed to come in this? Like, is it supposed to match with this, but he didn't come with the Raw Tag title? Does that mean that AJ Styles will be in Elite Series 99 or 100 coming with the Raw Tag Team Championship? I don't think he's supposed to be in Elite 99. Maybe they'll add him now, or he could be in Elite 100 one or 100 and uh i hope he's not an elite 100 because it's gonna probably be a letdown with you know like as far as like accessories and what his head sculpt looks like and what his attire looks like but this omos looks great i'm not an omos fan but this figure looks badass it looks massive i think it's the biggest elite they've ever made they said so that'll be cool we also have a look at ronda rousey pointing to the wrestlemania sign like she loves to do looks like this jacket is that you know that rubbery mold jacket you know that's kind of posable she's got her long skinny jeans on there i like the baddest attire right there it's got the same ultimate edition head sculpt nothing too crazy but uh if this is the ultimate edition practically but repainted this is going to be a really bad badass figure and it looks to be that way so that'll be really fun for me you guys know i love the ronda rousey ultimate edition so that'll just fit right in with me i like this figure a lot Nothing like overly crazy, but uh, I will enjoy it, so that's good for me. This figure right here may be the most underrated figure or the most craziest one that we saw today. It is this Xavier Woods figure that they released to us, man. Look at this head sculpt, this attire, and this formula that they went with for Xavier Woods. They gave him the Apollo Crews torso, which is absolutely insane. I did not see that coming whatsoever. I think that it looks really awesome. They really changed the game here with Xavier Woods. This is the best Xavier Woods by far. It looks a bit tall, to be honest with you, but this is the best one. You got King Woods here. I love the gear. I think it looks fantastic. I love the kick pad mold. This is just awesome. This just, just looks like a badass action figure. Like, I could just pick it up, and it looks sturdy. It looks like it's going to feel great in the hand. But wrapping up Elite Series 97 for today is going to be Elite Series Sheamus here for Elite 97 there, which is a really good figure. It's the same figure as Elite 84, but it is going to have double jointed arms. has a really great trench coat. It's got his mask. It's got his hat. 
I mean, you guys know that Sheamus is kind of a plain Jane guy, but his figures are always great, and you throw in that great looking head sculpt from way back when, but it, it works for Sheamus. I don't really know how you improve that, so for that, it's not going to really bother me, right? He He's, you know, he, he looks off-putting. He looks just like himself. Great formula. Going to move around great. You throw in a great cloth trench coat. I don't know how to fight you, bro. That I mean, that's pretty perfect to me there, so I think Sheamus is looking good right here. So for the last set of elite figures that we have to run through, man, we have a look at the greatest hits figures. You guys know that we've talked about this multiple times on the channel. They're finally here, and they look exactly like their predecessor. Here's a look at the Attitude Era Amazon exclusive rock figure, or at least, I, I don't know, I, I know it was Amazon exclusive for a minute there, but we have a look at the Attitude Era rock. Same figure, I'm guessing that it's just going to have double jointed arms. We also also have a look at Elite 24 Ray. I guess it's just going to have interchangeable hands with double jointed arms. I mean, that's just what this looks like. It's the same exact figure from head to toe, it seems to be, for this Ray Mysterio. They just have interchangeable hands and double jointed arms, which is great because the figures were great in their original forms. But now having the update to the double jointed arms and interchangeable hands is a game changer. But we also have a look at Rikishi here, Hall of Champions slash Elite 27. Looks really good. Again, same figure head to toe, just double jointed arms and head sculpt. We have a look at Legends. Bam Bam Bigelow re-release getting FU'd right here or attitude adjustment. And one thing that you'll notice about this, not only does it have double jointed arms, but if you peek the background, Brad, you're going to notice a Seth Rollins, and that is not the Elite 93. That is a change of deco. So it looks like tomorrow we're probably going to get a reveal of a top talent, Seth Rollins, or a new like variant of Seth Rollins, because that is a different Seth Rollins. That is different than the one that we saw. We also have different angle of it here in a black jacket. So it also looks like the head sculpt slightly changed as well so I don't know if they sh you know shrank it down it looks to be like his hitman gear or whatever that was but it is different than the elite 93 which is something I wanted to bring up we also have a look at elite 8 undertaker which looks like the head sculpt has you know has the true effects applied it's got the double jointed arms I really wish that uh these figures would have been updated more than what they are, but uh, it's not a huge deal. You know, it isn't a huge, huge deal, but I would have liked to see bigger arms. I want to see a, uh, maybe we'll get a Ruthless Aggression Undertaker figure, but I'd like to see a singlet Undertaker with big arms, the World Heavyweight Championship or something like that for that wave, but here's the Elite 8 Greatest Hits figure, and then to wrap up the Greatest Hits, we do have the Jake the Snake flashback with the double jointed arms, which is a figure I know a lot of people were searching after, so that will definitely make a lot of people happy here, but the Jake the Snake is looking pretty good right there, so that is something that I want to get my hands on. Still never got my hands on the freaking, uh, Chase Variant Legends figure, but outside of that, we also had a look at this figure right here. Now, I wanted to get through all the WWE before we, or at least the Elites, the Ultimates, things of that nature, before we dove into AEW here, because uh, we, we didn't get a ton of stuff for AEW, but we did get to see that, uh, that first dance CM Punk AEW Unrivaled ringside exclusive figure. And if you guys did not pre-order this, go pre-order it right after this video using code MDTOYS to save 10%. I love this figure, and a lot of people are like, oh, it's just a CM Punk in pants with a shirt and hoodie, and it's not even that good. But I don't think you guys are really uh, looking at it in the full flex of things. First of all, I know how good this figure is going to be because those pants are going to be very similar to the Cody Rhodes pants. Like, this is what I love about AEW figures is you're able to make these street gears and street attires, and the figures feel so good in hand, and they're able to articulate these pants are going to be super articulated, and you can put anybody in the black pants, bro. They, he has sneakers on. You can customize the sneakers. He's got his cloth shirt. He's got his cloth hoodie. And also, he does not have hand tape on, so he's not going to have wrist tape. So you're going to get every single tattoo from his hand all the way up his shoulder. So you can pop this torso onto his wrestling gear, and it'll be like he's wrestling without any wrist tape on there. So that's a whole other deal for you right there. And it looks sick as hell mint in box. So I, if I'm able to, I'm going to try and track down a lot of these. I don't know how possible that is. I did pre-order one copy, and I do have my copy to review, but uh, you know, there were so many damn pre-orders hitting today. My wallet has just been taking lick after lick, man. Jesus Christ at everything that's been releasing and pre-ordering. You gotta pick and choose, honestly, because it's just so much craziness going on, but this CM Punk figure is so sick as hell. Not only do you get your cloth shirt and what you look like, you also get an ice cream bar in its packaging, and you also get an interchangeable hand that's holding an ice cream bar official CM Punk ice cream bar with a bite taken out of it. How cool is that? I know it's kind of the same head sculpt, things of that nature, but that is just really outside the box. I love that. I think that's fantastic, man. What what a great looking figure. And this is why Jazzwares and AEW have been uh, keeping my attention because it, it's just super fun. The, the line is so fun. It's so fun, and I know Mattel comes with their heavy hitters and punches and stuff. We also got to see Brody Lee 
on the on display there. We also got to see Supreme Edition Britt Baker on display, but I don't know how the hell I'm going to track those down. That's a whole nother deal for a whole nother day, but we did have some AEW figures. We also saw the Amazon exclusive Young Bucks 2-pack in there which was a whole nother deal as well. So, I mean, AEW did have its little booth there. I don't know what their full deal is going to be. You know, I'm not entirely sure what their full plans are for tomorrow and how they're going to release and stuff. Hopefully, I can get it my hands on that Brody Lee. But let's wrap up this video. I think, I think I've gotten everything. We got to wrap it up with our basics and battle packs and run through it right quick before we get out of here. I know I've been here a minute, but tomorrow we have even more reveals and I want to get this up before, you know, uh, before morning time so you guys can watch this one and then get ready for tomorrow's reveals and renders and announcements. So let's get into it, man. Starting out first, I had to start off with Cody Rhodes here in this basic figure because it's so funny, bro. It's so funny that they are using this Cody Rhodes as his first figure. Now, I gotta be honest with you. The gear Sick as hell. Very sick gear. I love that they have his deco on there. This is a great looking figure from the neck down, but they use the Elite 32 head sculpt from like eight years ago. You know what I mean? Like that is so funny to me. Like it had me rolling in the in the floor that they are using this old head sculpt. I think that is so funny. They just put blonde hair on this really old head sculpt and threw it on an updated body. I actually like this figure a lot. I think basic Cody's look really good because the deco is really nice and it doesn't look like they shorthanded it except for the head sculpt. I would have liked to see a new Cody head sculpt, but for his first figure back, not bad. It's just a le it literally made me bust out laughing when I saw the head sculpt. So Elite 32 Cody is uh, I say Elite 32 Cody. Elite 32 head sculpt here on this basic made me laugh my butt off. But outside of that, we do have a Nikki Ash figure, and I don't know what it is about these basics that we're about to look at, including the Cody. But they looked really, really good. They did not look cheap. They didn't look flat like they usually do. It looks like they have some added sculpt. I don't know if that's because of the price increase, and maybe they're at, able to add a little bit more deco, a little bit more effort. But the Nikki Ash figure looks good here. You got some dimension with the wristbands and stuff. Not a great looking figure, but not bad. I actually like this. I think this is her best figure she's ever had. So that's kind of insane. But there's Nikki Ash. We also have a look at Braun Breaker with a great looking head sculpt. I think this is a great looking basic. Like, it doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. Like, usually basics make me want to throw up. This doesn't look bad at all. I think the Braun Breaker looks good. I think the head sculpt looks good. Really strong right there. If you're a Braun Breaker guy, I think this is the this is the figure for you right there. We also have Damian Priest. His best basic by far. I mean, this is a great looking basic as far as basics go. You get some sculpture on the thighs, and you actually have some stuff going on. The belt's actually sculpted on. It's not trash. It's it, like it's not a horrible looking figure like basics usually are, which is a great thing. We also have a Brock Lesnar with the smiley head sculpt. The exact same as the Ultimate and the exact same as the Elite. They want that head sculpt in full fruition, man. They're just pumping it out there. No cow boy Brock yet on the radar, but we have three in every level of Mattel WWE action figure in this uh, in this uh, new haircut Brock, so there's that. We also have a look at Reggie, who is the Chase variant. Very cool with the sculpts. I know he kind of looks a bit thick there with the baggy pants and the long sleeve puffer shirt. You know, he, he is the Chase variant, so I like the red pants. I like the way this head sculpt looks. I, th I think it's a pretty solid figure. You know, I'm not a Reggie fan or nothing, but this is a pretty cool looking basic. Next up in the line, we also have Zia Lee or Zia Lee, whichever one you prefer. I don't think the lightness is like spot on, but it's not terrible. You know, you know, it's not the it's not the worst thing ever. But I like the sculpts again. Like, look how like you get your waist wrap, you get your tattoos, you get your sculpted on chest top and like the strings and stuff. Like, I don't know what it is, but these basics look way more high quality than they look. Like, I can take the articulation getting cut if you have this level of detail in the basics. You guys can let me know what you think down below. Now, we wrap up these few basics here in this line with a Goldberg that's pretty much the same as every other Goldberg. Nothing too crazy or over the top. Kind of meh. But look at this Dolph Ziggler and this Bobby Roode, man. Look at this Bobby Roode in pink. What a beautiful head sculpt for Bobby Roode, man. I would love to get that and put that on one of his elites. I think that is a fantastic head sculpt for Bobby Roode. And then my boy Ziggler over here, why couldn't these be elites? I think I would have lost my damn mind. But the blue gear, it looks fantastic with the rips. And then you have the pink gear with the rips. I like both of these basics. I think I may grab these if I see these at retail. I don't think these head sculpts are as good as his elites. They are the same head sculpt. They're just painted differently. But I like it. I like these a lot. Hopefully, I'll be able to find these, track these down. I like these basic Dolph Zigglers. And again, man, these basics are actually pretty high quality. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing here out of these basics. And that's really all you can ask for. But wrapping up the basics... We have a few battle packs here. We have the Usos with their elite head sculpts with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. You know, uh, it's Jay and Jimmy, even though the Jimmy looks like Jay. 
you know, pretty solid looking battle pack. The Uso battle packs always increase in price too for some reason, so stay on top of that. We also have Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. Not the best ever, you know, I like the gear for Bianca, but it's still kind of a bleh, you know, that Becky's pretty old now, you get the Raw Women's Championship, and then the last battle pack that we have is this ugly looking Roman Reigns and John Cena battle pack, I like the head sculpt on John Cena, and he does have the armband on there, but it's still kind of, I don't know, the John Cena looks good, the Roman looks a bit weird with the tattoo and torso, it looks like his arms are tiny, he does come with a Blue Universal title with the Roman Reigns side plates on there, which is to add, but same head sculpt and the gauntlets painted on, so it looks a bit odd, to be honest with you. I guess you can't have the rubber bicep band and the rubber gauntlet, you know what I mean? So I guess that makes sense there. I don't really know how, how they swing that, but I think that wraps up every single thing we saw, man. Absolute insanity for a preview night. I, I mean, I honestly don't even know what to say. I, I feel like tomorrow, we're not going to get a whole lot of, you know, d just straight up figure reveals. Like we may get one or two. I know that we're going to be getting a lot of renders. We're going to get a lot of announcements of future things. We're going to be seeing, you know, waves in the future. You know, like old, uh, Elite 98, I expect to see Elite 98 Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Elite 99 Cody. Uh, maybe even Elite 100. Like, I think tomorrow is going to be a lot more announcement-based. Maybe some new images of new Ultimates and stuff like that. I would be blown away if they if they revealed any more than that right there. If they had more figures to show off. I mean, they might, you know. I, I don't know. I just was blown away by this preview night. I did not expect to have to do two 50-minute to hour-long videos covering preview night only. And then Thursday and then possibly Friday. So we have the full weekend here. I don't know exactly what's all going to come to fruition. But Jesus Christ, this was the most insane preview night I had seen in a minute. But I had a lot of fun with it. It was insane. I'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. What you guys think of everything we saw. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I mean, by the time a lot of you watch this, it probably will be a few short hours before we get more reveals. I think everything's going to be announced at like really early in the morning. It's like 9 a.m. or something like that central time if I'm not mistaken so we should be seeing a lot of great stuff I think it is at oh okay it's 11 15 pacific standard so for me that will be 1 p.m it'll be like 1 15 p.m we'll see some new stuff and we'll see some renders and, and different things like that. Or maybe they'll post stuff throughout the morning. You know, we'll have to find out about that. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. What an epic day. Favorite reveal was probably Shelton Benjamin or the John Cena right off the top of my head. I think the Ultimate Brock's sick as, as hell as well. Would have liked to seen a Cowboy Brock. But please leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. See you guys for tomorrow's coverage. And I hope you guys did enjoy. Have a blessed one. And uh, I, that AJ Styles figure. Cross the line, I've been...